Don't become a real estate agent if. You need to listen to this before deciding to become a real estate agent. This is Ken Van Lu, author of the Modern Wealth Building Formula, how to master real estate investing. Before you make your leap into the great wide world of real estate brokering or agent, you want to listen to this opinion. Why would someone in their right mind leave their stable nine to five job pushing papers during a pandemic even to go into real estate? You know, what if home prices are skyrocketing, you know, thanks to this increased historical low mortgage rates and the pandemic or the basic fact that housing is necessarily literally for every human being on the earth known to the recession proof, which is not true, but everybody's going crazy buying real estate, still considering earning your real estate license with the best school in the industry, and then keep reading on to discover why you absolutely want to do this 100%. Just like online classes, you know, you need to study. So these are five reasons why you shouldn't become a real estate agent. More money, more problems. Notorious Big said it best. The more money you make, the more responsibilities you inherit. And thus, more problems you need to deal with. Okay, he didn't quite say that, but you get the point. Let's be real. You don't need the extra hassle. Sure, money can buy you a better car, a bigger house, and create opportunities for the long-term stability, but that doesn't mean you're going to be able to handle responsibilities. But hey, just because the average veteran real estate agent makes $84,000 a year, that may be the reason why you want to jump ship. Number two, you'll have to make your own schedule. That's the great part about the nine to five job. They tell you what to do. Unfortunately, when you work as a real estate agent, you got to be a little more disciplined. You have to decide your own schedule. You have to time block. If you had to find clients, make appointments and gain listings, they're not going to do it for you. You need to do it yourself. Who's in it? You or them? You want a job? You want to work for yourself. So if you like a structured schedule, where you have to be present at work Monday through Friday, nine to five, stay far and away from the real estate sector because you're gonna have too much freedom. Number three, the community will serve, will not appreciate your efforts. As a real estate agent, you are considered a leader in the community, a hero who helps residents find their dream homes. As agents work, fuels the engine that keeps their towns going, People don't appreciate it sometimes, whether it's your actual job responsibility or extracurricular activities like volunteering, you bring out the hero. It's not all it's cut out to be. People take it for granted, never thanking you for your work you did. You also create enemies in the form of competing agents looking to take your share of the prize. You know, everybody wants to be Batman, Superman. There's a lot of superheroes out there. But I'll tell you what, Batman spends up to $600 million a year in gadgets. <laughs> he had to invest himself in education, become a superhero. And currently, there's 37 villains out there trying to kill him. So do you want to be a superhero? Because it's not what it's cut out to be, to be on top. And a lot of times when you work for yourself, it's hard to shut off the switch. You never sleep. So being a hero isn't all it's cracked up to be. It's expensive, it's time consuming, and again, no one appreciates your efforts. So do you really want to start retirement in some unknown cafe in some excluded town? So four, no one tells you what to do, except for some desk and commission fees required by a broker's firm. Real estate agents are about the most independent you could be. They are directly responsible for their business and they generate their own career, and they generate as much money as they put effort into it. So whether it's your next marketing campaign, decorations for an open house, the hours they work or how they convert leads into clients, it's up to each real estate agent how they want to operate. And that, my friends, is just too much freedom for the average person. Imagine if you were in the army. Your commanding officer said, hey, go do what you feel is best. Our military would collapse and China would surely take over as the dominant superpower. So as you can clearly tell, the freedom to control your own destiny is just a terrible idea. <laughs> so I'm just joking. But, and if you want to become 
a licensed real estate agent, that's going to be a lot of freedom for you to take control of. Your education, it can't be stagnant. Last but not least, Working as a real estate agent requires you to complete post-licensing, first renewal, continuing education, all of that kind of good stuff. So first off, everyone hates learning. It's boring and it's taxing. And yet, if you have a full-time gig anyway, adding to the industry knowledge is probably the last thing you want to do. And some schools actually require you to drive to class and miss out on other life events due to strict schedules. So when it comes to taking real estate courses, you need to do it if you want to become an agent. Still, do you still want to become an agent? Listen, if you're still considering making this bold leap into the real estate world, this may be an option for you. Or you could check out the Modern Wealth Building Formula, KenVanLu.com, How to Master Real Estate Investing. And you can not only become an agent, you can also become a real estate investor. This is Ken Van Lu wishing you a great day. Check out Subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out KenVanLu.com. Make it a great day. Oh!